Hi guys, Nick from Wi-Fi Collective here. Today we are revisiting an old kit, cable kit, um, the number three, only because a dude wanted me to build him some and it's a slightly different setup now because we've got um, a lower cost B tube, so price on this would be a bit less than normal. So here it is. This one is um, basically using the SLVR Cardas RCAs. Um, the high copper content um, material, silver plate, really good silver plate, using a B tube, which is effectively a plastic former inside that you thread the signal wire through, and then um, a tinned copper braiding over the top. So we sell, we have various sizes of this. This particular one is the four. Uh, B tube four, so it's a four mil in a diameter of the former there. So this cable has at its core the silver gold Mundorf wire. So this is off reel. This is called the SGW three zero five. So it's three strands of PTFE sleeved um, zero point five mil silver gold wire so it's basically 99% silver 1% gold the great thing about the 1% gold is it just takes the edge off so sonically it's pretty pretty damn good um, sometimes people find silver a bit too harsh but too bright but this is superb so this customer is using his cable in, in his phono stage from the back of his deck to his phono stage so really important that it's screened just to cut the noise floor down because obviously the signal coming out of the record player of the cartridge is very, very small. So, starting off, this is we're doing a 75 centimetre length. So, we need to get the measurements right. So, I'm just going to thread this through all the, way, all the way through. So, you can see that it's too the B tube is a bit too long. So, I know that the, this is 75 centimetres. So you basically want it to be, you, you want about that much exposed at each end. So I'm just going to follow it around like this to there. Obviously, it's a bit too thin, so I'm going to cut about that much off. There's my cutters. There you go. Like that. So next step is I'm just going to prepare the B tube. So get rid of that. So I'm happy with the size of that. So when you when you use the screen cable, one of the the ends is is screened, and the other one isn't. So effectively, we're going to use a bit of tape just to isolate this. So do that and then run your finger down it so you've got a bit exposed at the end. And I'll explain why that, that's the case later. So you've got a bit there like this. Get some tape. We'll obviously provide all this stuff when we, when we go for the kit. So, just to put a bit of tape on. Because you don't want any of these little strands touching the earth at the other end. That's that. And you can see on this one, we use black, so we're going to use red. This blue signifies the source end. So, in this case, this, this end will, is connected to earth, the screen is connected to earth. So, this end will be connected to the record player and the other end will go to the, the phono stage. So we're, gonna, we're not going to use this until we've done the cotton strand. Then. So now this is the cotton um, tubing. This is the 10-11. So 
thread it through like so. This is why you have it taped at the other end because the braid will snag very easily. So down like this. There is excess at the end, but we'll sort that out later. So this is about the same. This is the 9.5. Heat shrink, which will give you in the parts part of the kit. Lengths. Open it up. Now I find that this cotton stuff is a bit difficult <coughs> to be covered with the cotton tubing, so I cut it a bit like this, just wrap it around there, just make it easier for the heat shrink to slide over the top, but a bang. So, cut that from the end, get your heat, the heat gun. So the other end you can see, because this stuff kind of stretches over, so run your hand over it, because you want it to look nice, and then just cut it short. Same again. The other end. So you can see here that you've got about five five mil of braiding exposed. That's fine. Because remember that this end of the when it's connected to the RCA, it has to be connected to the earth. And you've got your bit of heat shrink over the top. Right there. Then you've got a bit of blue, 9.5. So, so remember this is marking the source end of the way you connect it up. After messing around with this bead tube for many years, I find the best way to actually connect it up with earth is... Where does that bit of silver wire go then? No, so. so today I'm using my Mark II magnifying glass because I've lost my other ones. So excuse the look. 
I'm going to get some bifocals next. So what we're going to do, make a loop, and this. Like so. Solder it up, which is gone. So just solder around the edge. So it's quite easy to stuff. So what you're doing here is you're you've got you're creating your earth connection, but you're also sealing up the braid so it won't fray. Touch a signal. Cool, so it's all part of a complete ring. Oh, sorry, cameraman. Bada bing. So the, the wires will go through there, your signal wires. And there's your earth, which you'll connect to earth. All right, so um, now we're going to deal with the, the wire that is the signal wire. So we're going to strip the ends. Best way I found for stripping this PTFB wire is to use a Stanley knife. This has to be a sharp one, so just be careful. Just peel some back. When we wire this stuff, we use two two wires for the earth. And one wire for the signal. So just prepping the ends. I'll just choose one of them. That's that would be the signal. And these two would be the earth. The twist. So let's give it a tin. Using uh, Mundorf 3.8% silver gold solder. Oops, I'm going to take very well. This wire comes in yellow or, or white, and, and we'll send you. Usually white, but if we're a bit short on white, we'll send the yellow. Sonically, obviously, it's no difference, it's just a colour. So, this is one end, this is it ends the signal. DC resistance. So, you've got to find out which one it is. Let's guess. I reckon that one. Okay, that one. Yeah, so that's the signal one. So, with these two, give them a twist. Them. Keep them together. together. So you prep your your outer sleeve in. it 
through. It's not directional this wire until it starts being used. So there's one end. So we're using SLVR SS. SS stands for signature. Well, it doesn't really, does it? Because it's just S. I mean, that's something that's in SS. Significant signature. The great thing about these is the, the cover comes from the top side. So you don't have to remember to put this on first before you do it up. So pop that in there. So this RCA um, from Cardas doesn't have any way of clamping onto the wire. So this is a pretty good tight fit anyway. I mean, what you can do is you can use a bit of heat shrink and then affect, because it, when, once that's on, it's on. You could cover that with heat shrink and clasp it to the wire so the whole thing's covered, but I wouldn't bother. So you can see here, the signal spigot in the center. There. Force push that right in as far as you can. It's best to start with this end actually, thinking about it. It's a nice bit trickier. So solders quite easily this stuff. A bit of heat. Done. Then the earth is this ring here. But remember, you've got the actual shell coming out over the top, so you don't want too much shoulder solder on there sticking out because you won't be able to get the shell on. So So that's all good. Whoops. That's a shell. There. So that goes, goes on nicely. So that ends done. This end. It's a bit more wire actually. This end. So we pop the stick all through. For God's sake. Just deal with the signal wire first. that one. soldered yep. and then let's just push this in when you're pushing it in make sure the screen you see the braid doesn't come anywhere near the uh, uh, the actual signal because then you're going to short it and I'm just going to do two connections here and then this wire, obviously, keep that short as well because that's exposed and you don't want that sh shorting. So I'm just going to solder that and deal with the other bit in a minute. Cool. 
So this obviously is connected to the screen. Just spawn. Put that down. Like that. I mean, ideally, you could trim this down because you've got quite a bit of spare length there. Um, but I don't really want to do that. There's plenty of room in there to put wire in. So, just rest it there like that. And, oops, where's it gone? That'll do. Cool, that's earth. Push it down. That's, that's good. Put the screen on. And you put your, your wire, just make do a test that you, your earth is connected. It's not shorted. That's good. Brilliant. So, I've never made cables before. They can be painful to make because they're a bit fiddly. But the great thing about the card S is, you know, it's got no plastic parts. It's not going to melt in front of your very eyes. So that is actually quite an easy build in cable terms. Um, there you go. So, uh, kind of a similar length. Bada bing. Bye bye.